Washington's Clear Thinking Headquarters. The Morning Majority, 5 to 9 on 630 WMAL. 737 on WMAL. Morning Majority, stormy Thursday morning here in D.C. It's Brian Neiman, Matt Lewis from The Daily Caller. Landy Davis joins us now from our Clinton White House counsel, of course. So are, are you convinced now, Lanny, I know that you had doubts that the president uh, was born in the United States. Are you convinced now that he was, in fact, born in Hawaii? I didn't need to be convinced. Oh. And if Donald Trump said that there were little green men uh-huh. from Mars under your bed, would we be talking about it? No, but well, this well, I'm is not the just as States. ridiculous. Oh, no, is that the same thing? Come it on. is exactly. This, is there the slightest shred of evidence, one iota of evidence that Trump has any fact behind any of his charges? This one has been disproven, and yet the, there is just as little evidence that there's a Martian under your bed. And that's what is on the Today Show. Well, that, well that's, that's not necessarily true. I mean, this was. This tell is, me what is false okay. about what I just said. All right, here's what's false about what you said. I may have Martians under my bed. No, no, no. Here's, here's the false. <laughs> it's, it's a little different because this is the President of the United States, and it's been a question that's out there. It, and people have wondered about the question. Lo- excuse me for interrupting. Yes. A question that is out there is the rationale of a desperate interview. Okay, well, then let me ask a you this. The question Hold that on, is out there is that Barack Obama is charged by Mr. Trump as having Martians under his bed. Would we be talking about that? A long-form birth certificate. People have been wondering about it for quite some time. The I'm president ne- never answered. Then why, you out. tell me. Then you, time out. No, 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 wait a second, lady. Are we wondering? You, you have to answer them this. Why then did the president release the long-form birth certificate? Be, be, because at some point, the idiocy of Don Trump, mm-hmm. his complete, uh, complete being a fool, and being uh, literally, if he ran naked down Times Square, we might have to prove something that he's crazy. This is a complete fool that we are dignifying in the media and forcing a president of the United States to prove something that he never should have had to prove. So it's the media's so fault. It, it is absolutely the media's fault for dignifying something that is outlandish as his running down Times Square naked or a Martian being under Wait a second. Head. You have to admit that it is a serious question to ask whether or not the President of the United States under the Constitution is qualified is, to be the it, President of the United States. It is States. a serious question sure. to ask whether Ronald Reagan was a Martian. Let's talk about it. <laughs> no, it is not a serious question. Really? It, there isn't a shred of evidence other than complete idiots not one shred of evidence that he wasn't born in the United States and or that he, uh, all the other charges that he now has to ask, whether what his grades were at Harvard is the latest thing. Look, what my point is, the media, if they want to be the National Enquirer, it's out there, that's your excuse, I, then yes, let's cover no, anything no, that's my, out there, my, no matter how irresponsible, how stupid. We have an economy that is very seriously in trouble because of a massive deficit that Barack Obama has right. not shown leadership on? That's a good question. But to talk about a man that is missing about four cards in the deck who's on the Today Show, and now that the birth certificate has been shown, which I'm sorry had to be done because it, it does uh, give some dignity to a complete idiotic issue, he's now being asked to prove his academic records. And you're going to say to me next week, well, that's out there. Why don't we look at his academic records? What did, Come on. What did, didn't Hillary Clinton bring this up uh, in 2008? Was, wasn't it the Clintons no. that started this? No. They, they, were, they looked into it. They no. certainly looked into it. The answer is you just made a statement on WMAL, right. one of my favorite stations. <laughs> I want you to check out what you just said, right. and I want you to take it back. She never did. She never looked into it. No. So therefore, you need to take that back. Uh, how, how do you know she never looked into it? Well, be, uh, I, you want me to prove a negative? I yeah. can't prove there aren't Martians under your bed. <laughs> I have been with Hillary Clinton in her campaign, and I would have known had she brought it up. The answer is no, and you just asked a question about whether there are Martians under your bed, <laughs> which I'm beginning to think there are. <laughs> wait, well, wait a second. Couldn't the prove president... to me there aren't. I, well, I, prove it to me. I can't prove a negative either, lady. There may be. But but couldn't right. the president have put let's, this to bed himself two talk. years ago by just saying, essentially, here is the long-form birth certificate. You people are crazy. I this was born is, in Hawaii. This is one of my favorite programs, and I'm one of your favorite supporters. You know that. And I also have to, full disclosure, I love The Daily Caller, and I publish on The Daily Caller. Let's talk about something serious. 
Well, like, uh, all right, you, but I still think this is a serious issue. It's serious enough for the President of the United States to hold a press conference yesterday or at least to put out a statement oh. and show the long-term birth certificate. One, one so thing, it's serious enough. One thing enough. I stand for is to respectfully disagree so we can civilly disagree, but I strongly disagree. All right, well, I, well let me ask you just one more question. Then why didn't the President do this in 2008? Then we wouldn't even be here at this point. I was against his doing it now because to dignify uh, a charge of Martians being under your bed and to prove right. a negative of a stupid, idiotic charge. That, yeah, that's actually it's, that's actually a question I wanted to ask you. Dignify the what should be what we're talking about, but I, I suppose the White House made a judgment, and I guess I can't blame them if I were there. When you Let, let's let's just put it to rest, but you can't keep doing it, right? And so that would have been my concern about even responding to this complete fool, this complete idiot who went bankrupt and is on television claiming to run for president when there isn't a prayer that anybody. Literally anybody rational would vote for Donald Trump for president. When you were advising President Clinton, there were you know rumors and and, and conspiracy theories that he that he murdered Vince Foster. Did right. never uh, denied it. Never put out evidence that he didn't. There were also rumors that he was running drugs in an airport in Arkansas. There was a documentary movie alleging that. And the answer is, it's just as much do you answer the charge that there are Martians under people's beds that the National Enquirer puts on the front page. And you, as an interviewer, and I'm not just accusing you, obviously, the Today Show is just as culpable. Everybody who's in journalism has to make a judgment. Do we broadcast the charge that there are Martians under people's beds, or do we look at serious issues like the national deficit our economy and what people really care about. That's a, a reasonable question. I, I heard, and all right, I heard the president say that yesterday, and the first thing he did was go to Oprah Winfrey, and then he went fundraising. Yes, this has become, because of the media, I do agree that uh, we can second-guess the judgment, but the White House made a judgment where I there probably would have done the same thing, but I'm second-guessing it because now what's next is they're asking about his tr- record when he went to Columbia, and how did he get into Harvard? Donald Trump asking, how did somebody get into Harvard? My answer is, how do you even get on network television when you filed for bankruptcy, ran away from your debts, and you claim to be running for president? Well, That's a fact. Yeah, okay, so what? So a guy like that can't run for president? Um, obviously, he's, he's got some traction. Anyway, at least he should acknowledge that before he points fingers in a glass house, he lives in a glass house. All right. Well, Lanny, we're out of time. We can't get into that. I want to know what I really think of Donald Trump. (laughs) I think think we know. (laughs) And I think we know that you have this uh, fetish about (laughs) green Martians right now. But next week, I want you to look under your bed. Yeah, I promise I will. I'll do that. We'll talk to you next week. And I want to get into the Dan Snyder thing next week as well. All right. Oh, I'd be happy Uh, to. Okay, good. I'd be happy to. 745 on W.